time has come for my master plan to come into fruition. In today's video, I thought we're going to combine the, some things we learned from some of our previous videos and combine it into something greater. Specifically, we're going to make another Excel game and we are going to make the number guessing game. So here we are in the spreadsheet and uh, before I show you the code, I uh, will demonstrate to you what's happening here, how it works. Uh, so we have a button here, like a macro button. And we have numbers here from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 100. So if you click on this button, new game, it gives us this uh, pop-up window where it asks us to guess a number from 1 to 100, boundaries included. And the point here is just to try to guess like which number that Excel is uh, thinking of. And um, we can guess uh, 50, for instance, and click enter. And it gives us another pop-up window with some feedback. So it tells us that uh, too low, so our guess was uh, too low. And then it keeps a little bit track here, uh, how many attempts we made so far. Currently just one, of course. And our previous guesses. And in this particular instance, we only did uh, you know, 50 right now. Uh, but also notice here in the spreadsheet that the numbers here from 1 to 100, it colors uh, with red uh, you know, different numbers that have been eliminated by our guesses. So we guessed 50 and we know that's too low. So that means all the numbers from 1, 2, 3, all the way to 50 cannot be the magical number that Excel is uh, thinking of. So let's click OK here. And it gives us an other attempt. So again, guess a number from 1 to 100, boundaries included. And uh, you, know, you, you could just uh, guess here infinitely, like 51, 52, 53, all the way until we get to the correct number. On average, that would take uh, you know, 50 guesses, uh, because um, 100 numbers here, and uh, every number, actually we don't know that, but I know that since I made the code, uh, every number has the equal probability of being selected. So this is a uniform statistical distribution, and the expectation of the uniform is that it's halfway through, so 50 guesses. Uh, but we can do better than that, obviously, by using what's called a binary search, which means that uh, since we get this feedback, you know, too high or too low, we can always just split the whole pool of uh, different uh, outcomes into, uh, into two, right? Uh, so the math behind this is uh, pretty uh, simple. Uh, so I think it would be 6.64 something, and that's uh, how many guesses at worst you need in order to uh, to all to identify the correct number. Uh, obviously, you can't uh, make a decimal number of guesses, so you need to apply the ceiling function. So seven guesses, seven guesses is uh, what you need uh, at maximum if you're doing things correctly. I mean, uh, to guess the number. Uh, so next here, we first we took 50, so that eliminates the half of the of the possibilities. I'm going to guess here, you know, 50 plus 25, so 75, which will eliminate the other half. And uh, let's see, uh, too high this time. Uh, so 75, 76, all of it 100 has been eliminated. We have made two attempts so far, and our guesses are 50 and 75. So let's try again. Uh, so this time, Let's see, uh, so it will be 50 plus, uh, last time we took plus 25, so this time we add uh, 12, so let's try and guess 62. And that eliminated the other half. Uh, so again, it's too high, so uh, now we know it needs to be somewhere from 51 to 61. So let's see, we can try halfway through that. So 56 will be our next guess, 56. Uh, four guesses so far, so 50, 75, 62, and 56, and that was not correct either. Uh, so let's see now, we have one, two, three, four, five guesses left. So if I place myself in the middle here, 59, we can uh, eliminate uh, three alternatives if it's incorrect. Okay, so five guesses. Which one could it be? So, uh, it's not between 57 and 58, so it's 50-50 uh, at this point. But let's try and guess 57. 
still too low. Well, we made six guesses, and according to our math, it will at maximum take seven guesses if we apply the binary search strategy. Uh, so let's try it. 58, see if that is correct. And oh, it is correct. Attempt seven. So that is the number guessing game. You can click OK here. Uh, so, what is happening behind the scene here? So this is obviously made in VBA, Visual Basic for Applications. So let's just open up the script and see what's going on. So we use the shortcut Alt F11, and here is the uh, here is the script. Uh, so obviously, uh, when you open up VBA here in a new uh, spreadsheet or workbook, you need to go to Insert and then to uh, Module in order to add this uh, new module where you can write in the code. So it's a subroutine. I gave it the name Number Guessing Game. Open parentheses and parentheses. All the way at the bottom is the end sub, and all the code goes in between. Uh, so first of all, here I have uh, Remove Color. Uh, so right here, it selects the range uh, A1 to J10. Uh, what is that exactly? Well, that's just this uh, this range. And then there is some mysterious code here. Uh, with selection dot interior dot pattern equals Excel none dot tint add shade equals zero dot pattern tint uh, add shade equals zero and width. Uh, so this code here, I didn't actually write myself. I don't actually know how to do this. Uh, but basically what happened there is that on the developer tab, I used the record macro. And uh, then I just selected this area here. And with the graphical user interface, I just removed the color like this. And uh, with the uh, recording uh, function on, uh, Excel will automatically generate the, uh, the VBA code for whatever I'm doing in the graphical user interface. So that's how this piece of code was created. And then I just select uh, range A1. Uh, next here, I specify two parameters, min equals one and max equals 100. Uh, and uh, then I create this uh, discrete uh, pseudo random number by using uh, this right here. Uh, so you can watch our other video if you're interested in learning more about how that works. And if you're interested in learning also more about uh, how to use the macro recorder, we have a video for that too. Uh, so this right here will generate the number that Excel is thinking of. So in our case, it was, uh, what was it? It was uh, 50, uh, 58, I think, right? So this here will uh, pseudo-randomly you know, generate a number from 1 to 100. Uh, then we have some variables here. Attempts equals uh, 0 and status equals true. Okay. Uh, next there we have like the, the game loop. Uh, so we have a do while loop. So it's going to do something while this boolean uh, variable status equals true. So the loop starts here. Let's see, I can expand this window here. So the loop starts here and it ends all the way down here. So whatever is between loop at the bottom here and do while at the top will be repeated again and again and again. And one iteration here is uh, uh, when we, uh, every time we get up this uh, input box where we can give another guess. So first things that happen inside of this loop, I, uh, I create this variable called uh, guess. It uh, has the value integer. And uh, guess is whatever you type into this, uh, this uh, input box, this uh, pop-up window where you can type in a number, right? Uh, now to think about it, it's kind of unnecessary to, always, to uh, put inside the loop here that we are creating the variable. We can just put this outside actually. So we have an input box. It displays the string, guess a number from your zero to 100. Uh, then we increment our uh, attempt uh, variable. So attempt was uh, defined to be zero up here, or assigned with the value of zero. And then we say that temp equals attempt plus one. So we're just incrementing by one. So it just keeps counting upwards every time we guess. Uh, then we have an if else, uh, if else then <laughs> statement. Uh, we have another video about that if you want to learn more about how that works. But uh, here we have an if statement. So if uh, previous guesses uh, is empty, then uh, previous guesses equals guess. 
uh, if that's not the case, else, then previous guesses equals uh, previous guesses and the comma and the guess. Uh, so the previous guesses just uh, keeps track of like all the guesses we have made. So the first time around, I just write in the numbers, so it will be 50. Uh, but next time, it will be equal to you know, 50 uh, to 50 and a comma and a white space and then the new guess, which will be like 75, right? So the reason I need this uh, if else statement is that uh, if I only had this part over here, our uh, list of previous guesses would start with a comma, so comma, white space, 50. And that's look a bit strange, right? Uh, next here we have another if else uh, statement where we are just checking if the guess was correct. Uh, so we have if guess equals the uh, the number that Excel is thinking about, then we uh, do something. Uh, else if uh, if the guess is uh, less than the number, then well then we do something uh, something else here. And then uh, one more time here, else if, if the guess is uh, is uh, too high, uh, then we do yet another thing. And then in the end of this uh, if then else statement, we have the end if. So let's just go with, uh, so three possible outcome here. Uh, either like we, we guess correctly, or our guess was too high, or our guess was too low. So let's look at the case here when the uh, guess is exactly correct. Uh, we have a uh, for each uh, for each uh, cell uh, uh, a loop here. Let's see. So it starts here for each cell in range a1 to j10, and that's just like the range here with all the numbers. We are looping through all of this uh, uh, all of these uh, cells, and when we get to the cell that has the uh, the number that we guessed, uh, then it will be colored with green. So as you saw previously, uh, when we guess the correct number, that particular cell got color green. So I'm just looping through every single cell here, and if the content of that cell is equal to the uh, to the guess, so if this if the value of the cell, if the value of the cell is equal to the guess, uh, then it gets colored with green. And this whole code here, this simple code, is just tell it like color it green. And again, I didn't type this up myself. I used the macro recorder to generate this code. So it's on. Um, it's uh, for each uh, for each loop. Here it starts, and here it ends. So that's the first thing that happens uh, in this outcome if the guest is correct. Next is that I have this uh, uh, syntax right here saying exit do. So we are forcefully leaving this uh, do while loop. So we just exit it. Uh, another outcome here uh, if we uh, guess incorrectly, if our uh, Sorry, down there. If our guess was too low, well, what do I do then? Then I generate this uh, this variable that just has the string uh, too low. So this variable is just created, and it is going to be outputted down here uh, when we're done with this uh, uh, with this um, if the null statement. So we'll get back to that. Uh, then again, it's just looping uh, through all of the cells in the range uh, a1 to j10. Uh, and uh, all the different uh, cells with values that is less than or equal to the guess is colored red. Then we have the third and final possibility in this uh, if else statement. If the guess is uh, too high, uh, well, then we create another message here or a variable uh, feedback, which just has the string too high. We loop through all of the cells and all the cells with the value greater or equal to the guess that's colored red. Um, here we have the end if, so, so this is the whole if statement, let me just uh, highlight that again. So in this whole chunk of code right here, we are just uh, you know, checking if our guess is correct or too high or too low, and based on that we are giving different color coding, either like red or green. Uh, after this, uh, after this um, if then else statement, we create a variable called a message, which is the uh, feedback uh, message which was either either too low, the string too low, or the string stating too high. And then we do some uh, concatenation here. We add uh, two uh, line breaks, and then we add the string attempts colon uh, white space, and then the variable attempts, 
which is this increment thing, right? So it was first defined all the way up here, attempts equals zero, and then it gets incremented here. So this just tells us how many guesses we have made. Uh, then we have another line break, and I have the string previous guesses, uh, colon, white space, and then we have the previous guesses, which is a list of the previous guesses delimited with a comma and then a white space. So what's interesting is that uh, this, um, this snippet of code right here only gets executed if our guess was too high or too low. Because if our guess is correct, uh, we will execute the, uh, the exit do, which means that we are forcefully leaving this whole uh, while loop. So this part of the while loop is skipped. Uh, if not, like if you don't have a correct guess, it will infinitely go back and off, right? So once we're done with this a loop, you just go back up again. But once you find the correct number uh, down here, we just uh, create another message, a variable that says uh, you're correct, exclamation mark, uh, and a line space, a line break, sorry, uh, the string attempts colon white space, and then just like the number of attempts you made. And then we get this message box with this uh, message, message we defined up here. So that is the whole script, that's the whole code. So let me just uh, slowly scroll through it one more time. So here is the whole uh, code, you can uh, take a look at it if you want. So that's the whole code. So as I said, we have uh, different videos that explain like different parts of this. Uh, we have one video about uh, how to use the macro recorder. We have another video, or several videos actually, which is talking about how to uh, generate these discrete uh, uniform uh, pseudorandom numbers. We have another video which is uh, talking about uh, if then else statements, and we use two of them in this case, one here and another one over uh, here. And we also have a video which is talking a little bit about uh, this uh, string concatenations, which we uh, did a lot of um, you know, here, for instance, and also um, up here. So take a look. Uh, take a look at those videos if there is something that was uh, not quite so well explained uh, in this video. So thanks for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, then click like. And if you really liked it, then subscribe. And uh, you can also write a comment and that sort of stuff. Hit that bell for early notifications. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so. Yeah.